Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneScale and today I have something really special for you. Slide zoom. Oh yes, I said it right, slide zoom. With this awesome effect your slides will never be the same. And before we dive into the action, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on Patreon. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And if you would like to find out what Patreon is all about, just visit patreon.com slash OneScale. Now let's get back to the action. So what is slide zoom? Imagine that you have one main slide which is like a map for your whole presentation. For example, this work desk that we have here. And what if you want to zoom only into specific parts of your presentation? So this is where slide zoom comes into play. So let's click here and see what happens. As you can see, when I click, we zoom in and I click again and we zoom out. And actually we can zoom into any part of this slide that we want. For example here we see a nice infographic. Click again, we zoom out. Let's zoom in into this video. Beautiful. Let's click again to zoom out. And we can even zoom in to the smartphone and we can actually put anything inside here. We can add some icons, we can add some text boxes, we can add anything. So now ladies and gentlemen, let me show you step by step how you can easily create slide zooms. And of course the first step is to open up a fresh blank new presentation. Uh, let's select a blank layout. We don't need any uh, placeholders, so just completely blank slide and of course the first step is to find a nice picture which could be like a map for our whole presentation and in this case a picture of a work desk works really nice so let me show you where you can find a bunch of work desk pictures so let's just go to unsplash.com and type in work desk into the search bar and hit enter and now you can see millions and millions of beautiful pictures. Let me actually find the exact picture that I have uh, used in my original presentation. Okay, so this is the one. Let's click on download. So I have this picture already on my computer, I go just to insert, click on pictures. Select my picture and insert. And as you can see my picture does not cover the whole slide, so I have to crop it to 16 by 9. I crop it. Now I drag it to one of the corners of the slide and I drag one of the bubbles so that you know, my picture covers nicely the whole slide. And now as you can see the newspaper is full of text as well the notepad is full of text and I will show you how you can actually make this notepad and this newspaper white so that you can add your own content into those you know newspaper and notepad. So all you have to do is just grab a freeform tool and just drag, you know, just draw a shape just like that and make sure there's no outline. And for the fill just grab the eyedropper tool and copy the color from the newspaper and voila, you have fresh newspaper that we will fill with some nice content. Now let's do the same for the notepad. Again, grab the freeform tool. You can be precise, you no, know, as much as you want. Okay, just a few more adjustments. And actually, let's uh, create some white space here as well. So we will fill it with a slide zoom later on. Beautiful, now let's just Select everything, hit Ctrl A, Ctrl X to cut it, Ctrl V to paste and paste it as a picture. So now those white shapes are merged with the picture and everything is just one nice picture that we can use. So step number one, number one, <laughs> step number one is done. And now let me actually show you the basics of slide zoom. So basically we just have to create a slide and let's create very simple slide, just a few text boxes. 
So yeah, this is just a text box. Uh, font I'm using is Lato Black. I make a font size 40. Type anything you want inside. Now I duplicate this text box. The font is Lato Light. Font size 25. Let me actually copy some, uh, you know, text from my original presentation, so I don't have to type it from the start. Yeah, so this is just a simple presentation, I mean simple slide, nothing too fancy, just to show you how a slide zoom works and later on we will do more advanced slide zooms. Now I will just align everything to the center, so everything looks nice. I can even group the two text boxes so it will be easier to align them to the center. So we are done with this simple slide and now the important or the magic. Just go to insert and click on zoom and click on slide zoom. And here select this uh, second slide, click on it and choose insert and here you go. Now you have your slide zoom. You can actually drag any corner of the slide zoom and this way you can adjust the size of it. You can actually hit here on zoom background and this way you know you will make your slide zoom transparent. This will make it much more easier to fit your slide zoom anywhere you want on your main uh, sl slide. So that's awesome. So let's put this slide on the on the notepad. And one more thing, I think, click here on the return to zoom. So basically when we will click the first time we will zoom in and on the second click we will come back. So let me just demonstrate. So let's click here on the notepad and boom we zoom in, we click again and we zoom back. Awesome! So this is how slide zoom works. Now let's uh, create some more beautiful slide zooms just to show you uh, how everything works. As you can see in my original presentation, I had a brush photo, I had, you know, some text boxes with icons, I even had a video. And I had infographics, you know, awesome stuff. So let's fill this uh, newspaper. Let me actually open up my one skill slide builder. It's full of, you know, pre-made stuff <laughs> that we can use right away. So we don't have ev to create everything from scratch. And so let's uh, copy one of uh, those infographics that I have done. So let's uh, hit Ctrl A or just drag around everything. Let's copy everything. Let's insert a new slide. Let's paste that infographic, make sure that we keep the source formatting. And yeah, basically we are done with this slide. We go back to our main slide, once again we go to insert, click on zoom, slide zoom and now we select this second slide and now we have this infographic slide zoom. Once again let's make the background transparent and let's make sure that we can zoom back to our main slide. Adjust the size of the slide zoom. And voila, we have made our second slide zoom. And let's check it out on the full screen, how it looks like. We zoom in. We zoom back. We zoom in. And we zoom back. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, if you would like to download OneSkill Slide Builder, it's absolutely free and I will put a link in the video description. Okie dokie. So, what more amazing stuff we could, uh, you know, slide zoom. We can copy this uh, team member uh, text boxes with the photo. Let's create a new slide. And let's decide, let's decide where we would like to put that team member. I think this uh, smartphone is a nice place. And one thing that I like to do when I create um, slide zooms, you know, for, 
for different shapes. For example, for the smartphone, I first create a shape, that blue rectangle. Now I paste it into my slide. I make sure that uh, this rectangle has the full height as my slide. And you know, this rectangle will be like a guide for me. So I will know, you know, where are the outlines of the smartphone. And this way I will be able to position, you know, all of those uh, elements correctly. So soon you will see what I mean. <laughs> now let's just uh, paste a few of these uh, team member elements into this slide. Let's copy one more team member. I'll just adjust uh, the size of the text boxes a little bit so everything fits in nicely. Beautiful. So now I can delete the outline because now I have fitted all of the elements the way I want. And again, we go to our main slide, we go to insert, we click on zoom, slide zoom. Now we select the third slide, click on insert. Once again, uh, let's make sure that background is transparent. And let's just position our slide zoom the way we want it. Yep, sounding like this. And let's make sure that we can click back to the main slide. And voila, we have already made three slide zooms and let's check it out on the full screen. So we click on the smartphone, we see our nice team members. We click on the notepad, we see our text boxes. We click on the newspaper and we see that in the news we have infographics. <laughs> awesome. And what more interesting stuff we could uh, slide zoom. So let's just copy a few of these uh, text boxes with uh, icons. And let's head back to our presentation. Uh, let's create a new slide. Let's paste those elements. Okay. And now let's draw a shape. shape for this uh, paper which is partly covered by you know another paper so I'll just draw a shape which will be like a guide for me again so I will know where I can position all of the elements so just make sure that you send your shape to back so that you can see what you're doing with your elements we can uh, leave the outline black and let's set fill to none and now I'll just uh, position all of these uh, text boxes so that they nicely fit into this partly covered page. By the way, if you're a complete beginner and if some of these, uh, you know, stuff is too advanced for you, don't worry, there is the video 10 steps uh, or uh, I would say <laughs> 10 things PowerPoint beginners want to do in PowerPoint. So please check out that video. And uh, I cover, you know, basic stuff like creating text boxes. And, you know, you will, you will feel much more confident after that to watch this video if, you know, some of the stuff is too difficult here. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, check out what we have. So we zoom in here. We see the text boxes. We zoom into the notepad, we see our text boxes, we zoom into the newspaper, we see our infographic. And we zoom into the smartphone. Beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, now you officially know how to create slide zooms in your own presentation and create awesome non-linear experience for your audiences. If you would have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. That's all for now, people. See you in the next video.